despite the global condemnation and outrages that uh, Iranian cities have witnessed in the last uh, three, four months. Iranian government doesn't seem to be budging on the issue of anti-hijab protest uh, in Iran. Uh, the latest uh, news coming from Iran says that government officials have been asked to be very st strict on the violators who do not uh, wear hijab. Now, the Iranian government has also asked women to wear hijab while in car, being in park or in other public spaces. In fact, uh, there are reports that some uh, public spaces uh, have also been closed because uh, there were uh, women who were uh, spotted not wearing uh, hijabs. Uh, earlier it was reported that uh, a senior Iranian uh, law officer has said that Iranian government is reviewing this whole hijab controversy and probably uh, that had given an idea that Iranian government is going to uh, go down and uh, become a little softer on the hijab rule that is uh, prevailing in Iran ever since that 1979 uh, revolution, uh, Islamic revolution ha that has happened in Iran. But now it seems that government is all uh, going full throttle against all the violators, protesters across Iran uh, so far in the last four months, almost four months, uh, ever since this, is, uh, this protest has started, there has been thousands of arrests and hundreds of deaths. There has been reports of multiple groups also uh, pro-hijab and anti-hijab also clashing with each other with each other in the various uh, uh, cities across Iran. But uh, overall, the scenario remains very chaotic. We have seen uh, footages emerging from various colleges, medical uh, institutions, uh, where people have started protesting uh, against this hijab rule that says that uh, over the age of nine, every woman in Iran, every girl, uh, child in Iran has to wear hijab and uh, follow those rules of cladding in a very modest way. Iranian government has also accused Western uh, nations and USA for fomenting all this protest, fomenting all this sentiment across Iran and they have been maintaining that uh, this protests that are happening in Iran are not uh, the real sentiment of Iranian people, rather it has been uh, brought from uh, from outside and it has been imported uh, by certain West, uh, certain Western element who wants to destabilize Iranian government. This is happening in the wake of death of Mahsa Amini, the 22-year uh, young Iranian woman who was arrested by morality police and uh, with, in a very short span, like within a few hours, she was uh, declared dead. Uh, her parents, her family accused Iranian government or Iranian, uh, those morality police the authorities uh, of using excessive force against her. Uh, that caused some bleeding and internal injuries which caused her death also. However, Iranian government always maintains that she has some complications and heart disease which caused uh, her death. We'll have to see, uh, will this protest continue or will uh, the Iranian government's repressive uh, agenda or repressive uh, guidelines against women uh, will continue to prevail.